guys, so we're going to do a quick model to show um, how water can change landforms. So we use models because obviously it would be really hard to get a cliff or a mountain inside of a classroom or inside of a room. So using a model is a way to show how something can affect something else by using different things. So today we're going to be showing how water can change a landform. So our landform that we're using is going to be flour, which is just kind of, you know, regular baking flour that you have. It, as you notice, is pretty soft. It's fluffy. You can move it around. Um, and then to represent water in our model, we're going to just use water in a spray bottle. So what we're going to do in our model is we'll take our flour and we're just going to spray it with water really quickly and just let it sit for a second. So when we do that, we'll notice that the water has changed the landform a little bit. And I'll try and tilt it the best I can without spilling. So when we look, we notice that before it was really light and fluffy. And now there are areas where it's like a little gooier. Um, it's changing the way that the landform is by making it slightly more solid instead of quite so powdery. Um, and I'm doing my best to show you, but it is a little bit hard with the lighting and with the flower. So as we can see from our model, at the beginning, our landform was actually pretty powdery consistency. You can move it around really easily. And then once we added the water, it actually changed the way that the flower was to now it was more of like a paste um, and a little bit more solid. So as we can see, it is a little bit different than how a landform would change by water, but we're noticing that water can change um, different objects. So. Um, you guys can tune back into the second part of lesson two so we can discuss a little bit further what we noticed.